couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome lesson right here on Lickin' Riff where I'm gonna show you five awesome ways to use a capo that you might not have thunk of. Yeah, five ways to use a capo that might not have occurred to you. And yep, there's more than one way to use it. Now, the idea for this lesson came to me because Leonardo from woodencapos.com, who sponsored one of my lessons in the past, wanted to sponsor another lesson, and he sent me three capos. He sent me these beautiful capos, and why am I showing you these? I can show you this close-up. And they come in a really neat canvas bag, and one of them is engraved for Lick and Riff, so thank you, Leonardo, woodencapos.com. So I I thought instead of just mentioning the capos and showing you them, I can show you what you can do with capos. Um, so the first use for a capo, of course, as we all know, is to change the key of a song, to transpose a song. And uh, it helps if you're playing with a singer to match the pitch of their voice, or if you're playing with a band and the band is playing the song in a key that's relatively uncomfortable for you as a guitar player. But the first tip is that you can actually take something you already know how to play and that you're very, very used to the sound of and take a random fret. This is a very simple tip, but again, it might not have occurred to you that you can do it and completely change the key of something that you already know how to play and completely refresh it for yourself and hear it in a completely different way. For example, we all know um, this chord progression. Okay? But let's, for example, use the capo on the um, fourth fret okay? and play it. We're used to the G scale when we're playing, and suddenly we're in B, but we're playing the chord voicings from G, and suddenly everything sounds completely different. Okay? Or let's even put it higher up on seven. suddenly it refreshes everything and turns something that you might be sick of into something completely new. And it's the same four finger style arrangements and the same for anything you know how to play, including solos. Try it out, it refreshes your ear. Now that's a very simple and common tip that most of you already know. Um, and the second tip, we're still keeping it simple before we start changing the tuning. Um, is that you can actually take the capo and put it on a very, very high fret to create a completely new guitar sound, a completely different sound than you're used to playing. And it will make the guitar sound completely different. Put it on the 10th fret or even the 11th fret, the highest possible fret you can. If you have a cutaway and your neck allows it, your fretboard allows it, um, put it on the 12th or even the 13th fret and then try to play some minor sevens, you know, E minor seven, A minor seven, C major seven, very simple chords with a lot of open strings and you'll see that suddenly the guitar takes on a completely different character, for example. <laughs> Sounds really interesting and you can get really interesting stuff out of it. I just wanted to show you how it sounds with simple chords. You can complicate it to your heart's content, but the higher the fret of the capo, the more different the guitar would sound. 
and um, just give it a try. It's amazing. You can get lost in it for hours. Now, let's start with the um, detuning or different tuning tip. Uh, put a capo on the second fret and leave the first string open. Put the capo on strings two to six and that gives you this, okay? You get a standard tuning with a detuned E string, okay? Without having to detune the actual string. So for example, in E minor you get this, E minor seven. And let's see. Okay, you get C with the add nine. And also other options for finger style, for example. See? Without changing anything except for putting a capo on strings 2 to 6. Okay, so check it out. Now put the whole, you know, the whole capo on, the whole set of strings on the second fret. And take another capo, if you have it, on strings one to five to create kind of a simulated drop D tuning. So one capo from below the neck on strings one to five and one capo two frets lower. Okay, so you get okay, the, the drop D tuning only high up without having to detune the string. Or you can put the capo, the second capo, on strings one to four to create a drop D G or open G six tuning. You know what? Let's put it high up. Let's put it on um, on the seventh fret and the ninth fret. For example, this this is on the seventh fret and this is on the ninth fret. And now we have this or this. If we have we have kind of like a drop A to G and drop E to D but without changing anything and it looks super cool. So for example, you have a G bass, G bass, and you have the D bass. Also using the second capos fret for um, you know a soloing point if you like and it's also good for showing off if you want to um, so just a simple trick and you can take it and do whatever you like with it you can also detune the guitar and take a different tuning for example an open D or G tuning and use a capo to turn it into an open E tuning or F tuning for example if you have an open G tuning and you put a capo on the third fret you have an open B flat tuning and Again, it's refreshing something that you already know. So again, thank you for Leonardo from woodencapos.com or woodenk.com, both uh, URLs lead to the same place. And you also have a coupon. If you put Lick and Riff uh, as the coupon code, you get 15% off of the capos. So again, thank you Leonardo and also for the capos and also for sparking the idea for this lesson. It never hurts to know something new. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Do so now and join the Lick and Ref community. There is a ton of lessons already on the channel and more to come forever. So um, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy. Bye for now.